Why would you eat that? On today's menu, thinking, uh, let's just tune this here and Sanakji. Yeah. No, it's totally fresh. You should try it. Eh? With special guest eater, Good Exotic times. Jess. Put some in my mouth? <laughs> like the idea of calamari? Well, on, on paper, I guess. Love sushi? No, I don't want to marry it. Big on tentacles in general? Well, I don't like to toot my own horn, but I, uh, I've read a Wikipedia article on it. Then what's not to love about Sanakji? Sanakji, or Nakji in Korean, is a young octopus that is lightly murdered. Its chopped moving tentacles are then served raw and squirming. It's totally screwed up, it's alive and junk. Well, not exactly, but it definitely looks alive. Yeesh. But how is it made? Well, typically, the octopus is taken from a fish tank and killed quickly. Its head is then split open and the brain is removed. The tentacles are then cut into squirming bite-sized morsels that are served to you. You'll then wrestle these into delicious sesame oil and let them fall into your mouth. Less commonly, the octopus is served whole, allowing diners to cut off pieces of tentacle as necessary to satiate their bloodlust. Sanakji is the rare food that plays with you, but it's not alive. Those tentacle pieces twitch because of residual nerve activity, like a chicken with its head cut off. But while it only seems to be fighting to stay out of your mouth, eating sanakji is not without danger. The same nerves that keep it squirming on the plate keep the octopus's suction cups alive. So it's not uncommon for the suckers to grab onto chopsticks or cling to the roof of your mouth. Remember when mom said to chew your food? Well, she probably hadn't even thought about a suction cup attaching itself to the inside of your throat and choking you to death horribly. Chew, man, chew! Your life is on the line! While a traditional dish in Korea, Sanakji's availability in the U.S. has stirred controversy. While most agree that the movement of the tentacles is purely reflexive, some maintain that the octopus's brain is decentralized and does not have full control over the tentacles. Which, if true, would mean the tentacles are technically still alive when you start to eat them. Hmm, yes. But why would you eat that? Well, that's the question. For many Sanakji fans, the actual taste is secondary to the thrill of eating something so fresh that it creeps and crawls around your mouth. And speaking of thrills, it's also renowned for its invigorating power and is sometimes called Korean Viagra. So big! So if your tentacle needs a pick-me-up, maybe pick this tentacle up. Nothing wrong with my tentacle. It's, it's just time to feed the office. All right, we gotta get some all-stars together to eat this thing. I'm thinking Fearless Mike. Fearless Mike, that's good, he's crazy. He'll eat anything. Bite size? Sarah, I like that. Exotic Jess. Exotic Jess. She's game, she'll eat it. I feel like we're forgetting someone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why is there an axe in here? So we're on our way to Koreatown to eat Sanakji, which is uh, moving octopus tentacles. Uh, so right now would also be a great time to tell you about the new show that we're getting ready to do, the Why Would You Eat That Challenge. Send us a video of you eating one of the foods featured on the show, and uh, we'll feature it. We'll show it. You can see your face on the internet, which you can do anyway, but you'll see our faces with it by the transitive property and be like your friends with us. So, so remember, you problem. have to chew them So they are going to really suck well. onto our cheeks? Yeah. So gross. Oh god. Oh, Dippin' in the sauce. Dip in oh god, sauce. it's moving straight out of my face. It's just alive. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's coming out. Really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can't swallow it? No, I mean, you can do it. You got, you got it. it. You got you got it. it. Drink that beer, you'll be fine. Just chase yeah, it. Yeah, just chase it down. It's not gonna stick in my intestines, right? So you no. can make it really well. Hey, you like it. Hey, good job. You eat it, you win. And ready? And it sticks to your teeth. Is this your second bite? Yeah. Oh my god, you're a chipper. It's more shorter. I feel like the heart valves. Three, two. No, I hate count ups. Okay. One, two. No, I really hate That's a count up. Oh, you got a cute right. Oh, look how cute that is. Oh, now they're going to call you. There you go. Do you know what's really funny? Yeah. 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 Do you know what's
Space. <laughs> Are you dead yet? Are you dead yet? Are you dead yet? Die! Out of respect though, I think we should eat all of it. Literally, like, the majority of it was stuck in my throat, and its little tentacle was like, no, no. And so it was just dangling there. It's disgusting. I'm like, you did not have permission. You we had a couple more drinks, played with our food, had a montage, and it was time to say goodbye. And then it waved back. So we just finished battling Sanakji. Any last words? Squirmy. Chew before you swallow. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> Special thanks to Exotic Jess for dropping by. Thanks for having by. me, guys. Yeah. And of course, all of the Why Would You Eat That Peters. All right, yeah. So be sure to leave us a comment below and tell us who you would like to see on this show. And also don't forget to like and favorite this video, share it with your friends, and if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Bye. Whoa, toilet brewed fruit wine? Really? Who drinks that? Find out on Why Would You Eat That? Or perhaps balls to the wall deep fried is more to your liking. Yum. Now you can learn all about Rocky Mountain Oysters. But if that's just not your culinary style, learn how to make the perfect plate of pasta with star chefs Zach and Steve. Or learn how to make the super granddaddy of mac and cheese on Dude Food, right here on Tasted.